Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Uh, today we are taking a look at the Masters of the Universe, not Origins, I guess, but uh, Filmation Collection, or Cartoon Collection. I guess maybe they're not saying Filmation. That's interesting. I didn't even look that closely at this box. It arrived the other day, and I just hadn't had a chance to really look at it other than just slapping it down on the table right here. Um... Very interesting, because I, I, for whatever reason, it was in my head that it was the Filmation Collection. But uh, it is compatible with Masters Universe Origins. This is the Collector, the evil airship of Skeletor. I love the fact that it's the evil airship. Like, it is evil. It's not just that Skeletor uses it for evil purposes. It is evil. Uh, and we're handheld right now because this is uh, too big to fit. Like, here's... Here's the normal mount, so it's a little too big to fit in the frame for that. I wanted to get a nice shot of it before I start opening it up. Um, I'll, I'll pa after we take a look at the box here, I'll stop and uh, mount the camera, and then we'll do the rest of the review. So I'm not collecting the cartoon collection. I'm sticking with just regular Origins, but this vehicle is awesome. It's something I've always wanted, and it's obviously compatible with Origins, so I got it. And I'm very excited. Now, I did get the cartoon collection Trap Jaw. Uh, just because it's Trap Jaw, like, he's kind of my guy. But, uh, there we go. Back of the box, heck of a cross sell. Look at that. It's like, I think it's literally, now I have not been keeping track of this line. But I think that's every figure that's available right now. Just in battle, on the box. Now, you'll notice, though that this is not gorgeous artwork like we're used to seeing on the origin stuff. It's just pictures of the figures. So there is a different level of, I don't want to say quality because that makes it sound like this is lesser, but let's be honest, this is lesser. This is not the gorgeous painted artwork that we're used to. Uh, so it does feel, it, it is different. Uh, but there you go. That's the back of the box. So now I think that's a good enough of you got some instructions there Oh, and I did want to point out. Let's get back to the front of the box real quick Whoa. I did want to point out uh, Unassembled which I love seeing because I really love putting vehicles together uh, it's an aspect of toy collecting that uh, kind of went without for a while because we just weren't getting big vehicles. So I'm, I'm excited to see this again. Or if we did get vehicles, they came like pre-assembled. Uh, so yeah, beautiful uh, painted box front. The back is just a little bit different. Well, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not uncommon for 80s toys to have just pictures of the figures on the back. So maybe I was a little harsh on that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, mount the camera and open this thing up. All right, so yeah, this this wouldn't have worked all that well. Let's flip that back over. And I, I ordered another one of these. Uh, the link is in the description of the video if you'd like to order one for yourself. It's a handy little tool. Uh, so I ordered another one to keep out by my records. And now I've got this one back in here. So easy enough. I will not be keeping... this box so I'm not too worried about I mean uh, I guess by were keeping it I'd be flattening it and breaking it down anyway so I would have done that no matter what I can hear oh man it's huge wow uh, I can hear the the evil Skeletor music playing in my head right now uh, as, as I'm looking at this thing, that sinister music. I've actually, speaking of records, I do have a record. Uh, it is not an American release. I've got a record. It's I think it's a Spanish release of all the music from the Filmation cartoon. And it's just wonderful. It's, it's so good. Uh, I, I really love that stuff. I've got one for G.I. Joe. I ordered the Transformers one that's coming out. Uh, even though it's going to have a lot of the same music that the G.I. Joe one had. Uh, but I just, I love that stuff. I love putting those records on and just 
you know, while I'm working on something else, working on something for the channel or Audible Interlude or whatever. Uh, it's great to have that music accompanying my my work day. And believe me, they are work days. Today, I've only got three reviews to do and no work to do for Audible Interlude at the moment. So today is almost like a day off. Uh, so you've got these little plastic disc things holding it in place. Toss those, get that, and there we go. Look, we've even got a little design going on, a little design work underneath, which needed to have this, because this, this is the view the good guys are going to see before they get collected. Oh, I love this. Uh, sturdy plastic feels good. So these just, oh, you just manually pull those out. Look at that great clear. So these don't grasp or anything, but my guess is that it's just going to fit. There you go. So these are, the, I'm not going to say they're a softer plastic, but they've got a little bit of flex to them. So you can take your uh, figures and just sort of squeeze them in the pincer there. And it's perfect fit. And He-Man has been collected. Love it. I kind of wish there was a mechanism rather than this just being, okay, well, pull it out now. Uh, but if there was a mechanism, this might not be as sturdy. So, again, nice translucent, like, I guess, energy beam type look that these had. Uh, and I love that they've got these the sort of vent looking bit around here in the different color. It's a really nice touch. So you can see the outside. Just a, a fantastic... It's a perfect design for Masters of the Universe because it's technology, but also... This, like, evil barbarian type weirdness. Really nice detail all the way around. And look, obviously this is undersized. Like, in the cartoon, this was probably ten times bigger than this. But, for a toy, look at this. This is a great sized toy. I guess I should put the fins up on top. Um, oh, shoot. I should have looked at the... Okay, so this the bigger fin goes in the front smaller fin goes in the back and those just oh that one snaps into place this one just kind of plugs in oh there we go they do snap okay so there you go there are your fins looking awesome oh, i love this and it's it's uh it has a nice heft but it is not heavy like you can fly it around one-handed look at the how beautiful that windshield is. All right, well, let's open it up. I know you're sitting here waiting to see the interior. Oh, and it's got a mounting port, so you can use uh, one of the other vehicle flight stands on this. Nice touch. My plan is to hang this from the ceiling, uh, which I think I already see how I'm gonna do that. But uh, let's open it up. You've got a hinge right here at the back. Uh, and then you've just got a couple of snaps in the front. And it opens. Oh, it's got some... Ex oh, look at this. Wow. It's not... Oh, whoa. That's great. The flight yoke is on a ball joint. Look at that. That is fantastic. Such a... Uh, unnecessarily thorough engineering right it didn't need to be like this that's great uh we got some control sticks over on this side and then skeletor has a golden throne in the back with oh look at the detail on that. i wish i could pop this out so you could see it but look at the little skull face 
on the front of this. That's great. I wish there were some stickers, though. There are no stickers or paper or instructions or anything. I would love to have a little something, you know, just a little control panel here, maybe something on the front of this. I'm kind of shocked there's not anything like that. Uh, I don't know what's going to be in this bag. Maybe there's a little tiny sticker sheet in here that I'm hopefully not going to cut through with my scissors. Oh! Oh, cool. All right. All right, there's nothing else in there. Blast effects. Four. So see, what is this then? Because this, this is something. Something's supposed to go right here. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, so we've got blast effects that plug into the claws. Because, of course, they don't just grasp or collect, if you will. They also are flamethrowers. Nice, clear. Here, I'll pop this out so you can get a closer look at it. Um, but really nice, clear plastic. I, I love the era that we're in now. Let me get that out of the way so we can see it. Oh, I just realized the camera's a little... That's what happens when you're trying to do things on the go. All right. Uh, I love this era that we're in where just we're, all the time now we're getting these great translucent... like fl There is a face on this. I don't know if you're going to be able... Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There's an evil face on the flame effect. That's very similar to the one that's on the throne. I really wish that throne just popped out of there so we could get a closer look, but that's not going to happen. Wow. That is wild. I was not expecting an, a little evil skull face on the front of those blasts. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop real quick. It will, okay, Here's here is how the figure fits in. So you can see three figures absolutely fit into this thing, no problem at all. This is my He-Man that I'm just going to keep here uh, for reference. I've decided I need to keep a, a collection of figures from different lines just here on the workbench so I've got so I can do stuff like this uh, so anyway there you go oh people are gonna want to know if a classics figure fits in here uh, I would be very comfortable saying yes but since I'm getting ready to stop this anyway uh, I'll go grab a classics figure and we can take a look oh well you know what no I don't need to do that because this gentleman right here who happens to still be on the workbench is the size of a Masters of the Universe Classics figure. So old Robot Reaper, who, by the way, this could be his ship. Let's see if he'll fit. Uh, yeah, you can, I'm going to say you can make it happen. Classics figures can fit in here. And look pretty reasonably good, too. Let me... Get a his he doesn't have a great whoops he doesn't have a great seated position his legs don't go all the way up although uh, really most classics figures probably don't either um, I wonder if there's I don't know you can make this work so this this is usable with classics figures if you so desire. Obviously, you're probably going to want to give another paint job uh, to it. It's going to need a little, uh, excuse me, a little more detail to look right with classics, but they'll fit. Uh, all right, let me, I'm going to take a real quick look at the box and make sure there aren't any labels or instructions or anything that I somehow missed. I don't think there are, but let's see. Uh, yeah, nothing. So this is just going to go unexplained unless it's for like weapons to be stored, like maybe Skeletor's Havoc Staff is supposed to go there. I don't know. Uh, hang on. I'm 
I'm just showing you what's on the box. There's no indication of how that stuff is supposed to work. So, there you go. I, I'm a little disappointed about the labels um, and, and the mystery of whatever this is. Uh, because this team is has traditionally been very good about little details and things like that. So just a control panel sticker here and here. Just a little extra would have been nice. But I don't remember what the price was on this. I know it wasn't more than 50 Right. Well, I don't think it was more than 50 bucks. I think it might have been 45 And that was from Big Bad. So I don't know if it's maybe cheaper other places. Go online, check it out. You're all grown. You know how to handle this stuff. Look at this. Look at the detailing of the panels and the rivets and everything in the bottom. Uh... Oh, I didn't notice that either. They're little foot stops. That's brilliant. Those ridges are to brace the figure's feet to keep them from sliding around while you're playing. Look, they're back here as well, if you can see. Um, really nice engineering on that. And of course, this one doesn't need it because it'll be holding on to the, the flight yoke. Uh, this is awesome. I dig it. Look, you've got the rivets and panels up here too. I love this attention to detail where rather than just leaving this as, oh, it's the other side of this, like they actually did, whoops, sorry. They actually did go in and add these details here. So it gives it a more complete feeling. Uh, and I would take that over a couple of labels any day because it just is a, a sign I mean, just look at the interior detail. It's so nice. And it's so it's a sign that these designers cared about what they were doing. Uh, so that is the Masters of the Universe cartoon collection collector <clears throat> Skeletor's airship. Skele Skeletor's evil airship. Uh, another great, great vehicle from Mattel, from this line. I recommend it. It's something that has been missing from the Masters of the Universe line for years and years and years, and now we've got it. And it's a, it's a good size, it's a good toy, job well done. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Uh, all kinds of reviews here, whatever I find interesting, I'm going to review it. Uh, until next time, buy what you like. Smash that like button if you like needless things.